guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! So if you guys have been watching my videos, I mean if you haven't, maybe you can go watch them after this video. But recently I customized my Apple products and this is how it turned out. I also customized my phone, my MacBook Pro, and this is an iPad Pro case. What do you guys think? I actually really like how it turned out and I had a lot of fun making this. And when I bought this case, I actually bought two more. You know, just in case I mess up or something, I needed a backup. I don't even have an iPad yet, so I'm going to have three cases before I even get one. But who cares? In my last, last video, I made it all into Ghibli series. But this time, I want to introduce you guys to my new character. So today, I'm going to be customizing two iPads. So let's get started. So first off first, let's open the case. And, oh my gosh, ASMR. Since I wanted to do something a little different from my first one, I decided to use resin to decorate this time. Resin could be toxic if used incorrectly, so guys, don't forget to use gloves. And each resin has different instructions, so please check yours before using it. But for this one, I had a mix in a ratio of 1 to 4. So that's what I'm doing right now. I wanted to add a lot of glitter, because glitter and sparkles make everything look better. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look how sparkly it is. And I wanted to make a few different colors and kind of mix it, so I made white as well, but I ended up not using it. I don't know why, but I really liked how this blue looked. And here we go. Oh my gosh, look how pretty it looks. I already love it. And here I'm just using a fork, a random utensil I found on the floor to kind of spread it around. I had to be very careful when spreading it because there are holes on every corner and I knew once it starts drooping from one hole, it's not going to stop. So I had to be extra careful. Well, I'm already satisfied by just looking at this footage. It's so pretty. So the first one is done, and let's move on to the second one. So I'm remaking my resin now. Just following the instructions, yada yada yada. I used the blue for my thumbnail, so you guys obviously knew I was going to use blue. But do you know what color I'm going to use next? It's pink! Pink is my favorite color, and you can never go wrong with pink. Again, I'm just pouring in a lot of glitter into the resin and mixing it with my fork. Seriously, fork isn't the best thing to use, but it was actually quite useful. Oops, let me add a little bit more because I want to saturate it with glitter. I wanted to make it opaque as possible, to the point you can't really see through it anymore. And here we go. The first one went very well, but for this one, um, <laughs> I had some mild spillage. It was running down from the holes, so I had to wipe here and there, and it was a bit messy. So if you guys are going to do this, be careful. Anyways, I'm done with the resin, and I had to wait about two days for it to completely harden. And this is how it turned out. And I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. I mean, I don't always say my work is beautiful, but this? I mean, <laughs> look how clean it looks. I know it's just resin, but it turned out exactly how I imagined, but like 10 times better. So smooth, so sparkly, a bit transparent, but just about the right amount. I would say it's a success, at least up to here. Because after this, I'm going to draw on some cute characters to customize, and let's pray that I won't ruin this masterpiece. So now, let's start drawing. And here is my new character. It's a mermaid! 
That's a maid. Get it? Mer maid? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. But this is my new character. I will probably draw her a lot more from now on, so hopefully you guys like her too. And now I'm going to use my Posca paint pens and go right in. I'm going to lightly draw in the shapes. By the way, if you're going to be working on something like this, where you can't really do rough drafts, start small. Because you can make it bigger if it's small, but you can't make it smaller after you draw big. Also, when outlining, you should use a lighter color. You can go over it with a darker color later to cover everything up. I mean, it's a paint pen, so lighter colors will even cover up darker colors. So I guess it doesn't really matter, but you know, it'll be easier. By the way, I still don't have a name for her yet. I did ask on Twitter. Oh, here's my Twitter and Instagram if you guys haven't followed me yet. Anyways, I asked on Twitter for her name and I got Cheryl. I was like, Cheryl? Cheryl sounds nice. But then I also got Shelly and I'm like, Shelly sounds nice. I think they both sound really nice. It fits the character because it kind of sounds like seashells and obviously it's a mermaid so something ocean-like seems perfect. And I'm kind of torn. So I decided to ask you guys. Team Cheryl or Team Shelly? Please comment below because I'm so torn. By the way, I decided to add an umbrella octopus as her friend. Since she's a maid, I thought a very agile friend would be helpful. And his name is Taco. Well, Taco basically means octopus in Japanese. Since I am very, very original and very good at naming things, I decided to go with Taco. Taco with a C. <laughs> I was originally going to paint him yellow, but I think it looked a little bit too light, so I went in with a very orangey yellow. What do you guys think of them? I'm so happy with how they turned out. I also wanted to give her light blue eyes, but I think it's because of the background. It's so dark. And I wanted to make her eyes stand out a bit more, so I went over it with a darker blue. And lastly, I added in some bubbles here and there, and my first case is complete. Let's move on to the second case. For this one, I decided to go with a very loved, super adorable character. Let's play. Who's that character? It has a very round face. Oh, with something kind of like ears on her head. Her silhouette is quite unique. And have you guys guessed? If you answered Blossoms from Powerpuff Girls, you are correct. I don't have much Powerpuff Girls stuff at home, but I kind of grew up with them. I love them. They're so cute. So, you know, I get a lot of, how can you speak English when you're Japanese? Um, <laughs> to those who don't know me, hi, my name is Minori. I live in Japan, but I am actually a lot more American than Japanese. I was born in Japan, but moved to America when I was just two years old. And I stayed there until I graduated high school. And then I moved to Japan for college. So I lived in America, specifically California, which I think you can kind of tell from my accent. I have a very California, San Francisco, LA type accent. So I lived there for most of my life. It's hecka cool there. FYI, hecka is only used in the Bay Area. I came to Japan because I wanted to become a manga artist, which didn't happen at least yet. So my house or my parents' house is still in San Francisco. Why am I talking about this again? Oh, <laughs> yes. So I was just trying to say I grew up with them and American cartoons and you know, Nickelodeon and stuff. Anyways, it was kind of hard to draw Blossom. It was hard to find the right colors. Posca paint pens are very easy to use, but since you can't like mix the colors to make new ones, Sometimes it's a struggle to find the right shade. For example, I couldn't find the right color for her hair. Blossom is a very brunette girl, but all I had was like a lighter blondish color, which would probably suit Bubbles a lot more than Blossom, but that was the only color I had. Also, her pink shirt was a little too light in my opinion. So yeah, it's not like perfect, but please bear with me. 
After customizing my first blue one, I noticed that I should draw the character a lot bigger and fill in the space more because this case was a lot more spacious than I thought. So I drew Blossom as big as I could and I kind of like it. I honestly think this one turned out better than the first one, not because of the character, but because I think I was able to draw Blossom bigger and just more well put positioning wise. I also wanted to make her bold, just a lot more cartoonish. So I added in the outline with a dark, thick black pen. And the contrast with the background, it just made her pop. I'm just quite satisfied with how it turned out. Oh, by the way, I'm using my hair dryer here and there because Posca paint pens take a while to dry completely. And it's already been a few days since I started this project, so I wanted to just finish it as soon as possible. I added in a big heart for the background, which reminds me a lot of Powerpuff Girls, and I think I am done with the case. So after a few days, this is how my cases turned out. And don't worry, I used varnish on top to seal the drawing. Um, I got some paint all over me. This is how it turned out. What do you guys think? It's so pretty, it's so smooth. I mean, I was happy with the resin by itself. Oh, it's so pretty. And the drawing? In my opinion, I think I liked how this one turned out just because I got to practice first with this one. But like, I'm in love with my new character. I still haven't chosen yet, so Team Cheryl or Team Shelly? Please comment below. I think these turned out as a success. I had a lot of fun. I'm up to doing more. Maybe next time I could do more iPhone cases because I think I have enough iPad cases. And I don't even have an iPad yet. Anyways, I'll be back with more videos, so please stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.